All right, so you are moving to the Boston metro area. Well, in this video, I'm going to be covering nine hacks, nine tips, tricks, whatever you want to call them, that are going to make moving so much easier and save you a ton of money. And you're going to want to stick around to the end as I have one super secret bonus hack that I guarantee you didn't know about. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Andrew Junis. I'm a local realtor right here in the Boston metro area and I love helping people find their ideal place to live. So if you are moving here, please drop me a line, call, text, email, shout it from the rooftops. I'm going to be here and ready to help whenever you are. And if this is your first time to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then click the little bell so you get notified anytime I do a new video. And I will be doing at least one video a week all about Boston, the surrounding areas, good, bad, the ugly, some really cool stuff. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, so over the years of helping people move to Boston, I've compiled a list of hacks, tips, and tricks to make life easier and to help save my clients money. All right, so first, moving is a great time to have that come to Jesus moment with all the stuff that you've been collecting, compiling, maybe hoarding, right? Tomato, tomato. Think about it this way, right? What is the stuff that you really are gonna be using in your new place versus the stuff that you're just gonna be moving from one closet to another, one attic to another, one basement to another? And the bigger ticket items, right, they can actually end up costing you more to ship than it would be to buy brand new items. So unless it's a family heirloom, you might want to think of getting rid of that stuff, putting it on Facebook Marketplace and selling it before you leave, and then just buying all new furniture or whatever new furniture you do need when you get to your new place. Now, if there are pieces of furniture that are important to you, you know, family heirlooms, and you want to bring them, well, of course, do that. And if you're a little hesitant to know exactly if everything is going to fit into your new space, but well, we can do a Matterport 3D scan of your home. Now this produces a dollhouse-like image with room measurements including ceiling heights so you'll know exactly what you can and can't fit into your new space. Just remember that moving is a great time to purge, right? Um, you know, and I highly recommend leaving, selling, donating as much stuff as you can. Um, it's going to save you time, it's going to save you energy, and it is for sure going to save you money. Something that you should look for that some cities have is a bulky item recycling program that recycles bigger ticket items like a mattress, a box spring, or a couch, and it's for free, right? So you just have to go onto their site, fill out a form, and include the day your items are going to be curbside, and they'll come and pick it up for you. I mean, compare that to a removal service that would charge you at a minimum a couple hundred bucks to dispose of the same items, and it's a no-brainer about what you should do, right? So. I highly recommend you check with your local municipality and see exactly what kind of you know, recycling programs that they offer uh, because it will help you save money. And so the stuff that you don't want to recycle, try selling on Facebook Marketplace. I've had more clients tell me of positive experiences using Facebook Marketplace versus other sites like Craigslist which seems to bring out mixed results. Anyway, think of big ticket items like furniture, right? Because shipping can actually cost you more than buying new. So again, how tied are you to any one piece? Because it'll be way easier to just get rid of the old and buy new stuff. Next, after you've figured out what you are taking and what you're throwing away, it's time to pack it all up, right? So unless you're a professional mover, you probably don't have a bunch of boxes stored away. And you probably don't want to go to your local UPS or FedEx or United States Postal Service because boxes there can be really expensive to buy. Instead, a great site to go to is the app next door. Right, where you can get local tips and buy and sell items and find out who your nosy neighbors are, of course. But, you know, there you should be able to find people who have recently moved and have a surplus of boxes they are trying to get rid of, and most likely for free. Other options to find boxes can include Craigslist, liquor stores, and Costco or BJ's. And if you want that really good butcher paper to wrap stuff in, head to your local cash and carry. Uh, we have one here in Chelsea. And you can buy the rolls in bulk for way cheaper than a regular store, like $30 for, you know, big. So the third hack, and this one is really for saving you time and headaches, right, is by packing a tool and parts box. Now this will be the last thing that would go on the truck and the first thing that would come off. And it's going to include things like screwdrivers and Allen wrenches and other tools used to disassemble and assemble things like your bed and other furniture, right? And you're gonna to wanna to put you know, all the hardware in plastic bags and label them properly so that when you're unpacking this box, you'll have everything in its place and you know exactly how to reassemble your bed because I think that's one of the first things people wanna to put together anyways. 
you certainly want to be able to sleep, right? And then on top of that, think of other things that are going to be useful for you. Toilet paper, paper towels, some kind of cleaner like a Windex um, or a simple green. All right, so the fourth hack has to do with appliances. Now, one of my jobs as your agent is to negotiate on your behalf, right, for all the appliances that you want. For instance, the stove is a fixture and typically stays with the house, as do all fixtures. But something like the refrigerator, the washer and dryer are not, and they are negotiable, right? So the question is, do you even want them? Now, if they're older, you may want new ones, right? But most buyers would prefer to choose their own versus having them gifted by the sellers. What you might consider to be good could be very different from what the seller thinks. And if you do buy a home with older appliances, you know, home warranty, which can cover the cost to repair and place the appliances, might be your best bet, and we can discuss those options. The fifth hack is hiring movers. Now, nobody likes packing and moving themselves. Trust me, right? I've done it enough times. If you've done it at least once, it's probably once too many, right? Now, when you're in your 20s, you may think it's a good idea of renting a U-Haul and plying your family and friends with beer and pizza, and that'll get the job done. But trust me, moving is a pain. It's hard, it's stressful, it's time consuming, right? You can end up getting into fights over the silliest things with your spouse or your friends or whatever it is. I'm telling you, just hire a good reputable mover and you will be the better for it. Plus, you won't be that person. And there's always at least one every year who gets stuck under a bridge on Storrow Drive because they didn't read the sign that said no trucks. Don't be that person. Another great option when you're moving is the pod, right? The portable on-demand storage. What's great about this is you can pack it up at your own pace, just put it out in the driveway or somewhere behind the house, wherever they can easily get at it. And it's gonna help you declutter your own home. So if you are thinking about selling it, it's gonna make it look so much better. And it's gonna allow you, like I said, to pack stuff at your own pace. What happens then is they'll take that pot away and they'll store it until you are ready to move into your new place and then deliver it for you. All right, so the sixth hack, like what if you're moving and you really have no idea what the area is like, even though you've maybe done a tour, you still don't really feel like you have a good feel for where you're living. Well, a good option then is to try an Airbnb for a month or two, right? So that you can, you know, kind of dip your toe into it before really making a longer term commitment. Now, on top of Airbnbs, um, we also have relationships with some short term rental companies. So we can discuss those options and see which one might be right for you. All right, and the seventh hack is daycare, right? You gotta lock that in as early as possible. Typically, the best ones are already filled up and have wait lists. And ones that are open, even if they are good, they're probably gonna be super expensive and you're just not gonna have that many options. So, you know, a good thing to do is get onto Facebook groups in the communities that you think you're gonna live in and try to get some help. Uh, another good option is uh, Nextdoor, right? The app that um, I mentioned earlier can also be used for this, just to, you know, use any and all connections you can. All right, and so number eight is my super secret bonus hack. And that is shipping stuff across country to save you a ton of money, you're gonna do it on Amtrak. And I heard this through someone else because Amtrak, frankly, does not advertise this service. And you know, for sure, there's a bunch of rules. So you wanna make sure you go to the website and check out exactly what you can and can't do. Like I think you can only ship up to 500 pounds a day. But I know someone who moved from Oakland, California to North Carolina, so all the way across country, shipped about 500 pounds of stuff and it cost them less than $500. Now, you try to ship that any other way and the cost is not going to come close. You're going to be paying double, triple at least to, to ship that stuff. So really, a great, a great thing to check out to save a ton of money. All right, and the number nine hack, the last one, is that you got to reach out to me, right? You know, the first thing we'll do is we'll set up a Zoom call so that I can learn about your goals and your lifestyle and what's really important to you in your next home. Uh, and you know your timeline and every everything that's important so that throughout the whole buying process you know that I've got your back and we're gonna try to make this as efficient and seamless for you as possible you know the bottom line here is I want to make sure that you have a thorough understanding of the area and feel you know 100% confident in the home that we're gonna help you secure after all I mean this is going to be your home but of course in order to do all that you have to reach out you got a call text email you know, shout it from the rooftops, right? I'm gonna be here and ready to help whenever you are. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, my name's Andrew Junis. I'm a local realtor right here in the Boston metro area. 
And if this is your first time to the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and then click the little bell down below so you get notified anytime I do a new video. And I will be doing at least one video a week. All right, guys, I hope all of this was helpful. If I can be of service in any way, please reach out. And until the next time, take care.